Uh, Radio Raw here with Javonta Davis, successful tonight in Atlanta. You said that Gamboa brought out the best in you tonight. What did you have to utilize? What in your tool bag did you have to use that you've never had to use before tonight? Um, just, you know, think a little bit, you know, uh, slighten up all my punches, you know, and just um, break them down. This is obviously your first weight at 135 pounds fighting for the title. Gamboa was able to go almost the entire distance, went into the 12th round. Do you feel like you lost any power going up in weight, or was it just Gamboa's chin tonight? Uh, no, it just Gamboa. Um, he's a great opponent and things like that. We can't take nothing away from Gamboa. Um, he's a great opponent. You know, uh, he had experience. You know, when I had him hurt, he know how to get out of there, so, um, you know. Did he show you things you hadn't seen in the ring from an opponent before? Uh, just, you know, when I had him hurt, he was not quitting, you know, and things like that. They said in the, in the corner, he, they, uh, he, was, he wanted to quit, but his coach was like, nah. There were uh, a packed house tonight. Mayweather was ringside, celebrities were ringside, Shaq was ringside. When you start to get into the late rounds, you know the audience wants a knockout. You start to feel pressure to get them what they wanted tonight? Uh, no, I just, I, I, I don't like to get booed, so when they, when they were booing, because I was like, um, figuring them out, that's when I, I showed them that I can, you know, touch them whenever I want to. You know that there are a lot of challenges at 135 pounds. You, you know the names, uh, Lopez, Lomachenko, Haney, to name a few, Taylor Farmer. Is there anything you learned tonight that you think would help you in a challenge against any of those guys I just named? Um, you know, uh, any of them, you know, they, they champions, so they the big names right now for in my division, so I'm ready for, for them all. You know, I believe I can beat everybody that's, you know, I believe I'm number one, let's just say that. And my record shows, my um, my um, accomplishment shows, and things like that. So um, I'm definitely, you know, looking for the big names. Gamboa posed a bigger challenge than most people gave him credit for tonight. Of the names I just mentioned, who do you think poses the biggest challenge to you? Uh, I don't know till I get in there with them. You know, I can, I can see that. You know, this person got big, like a big chat. I ain't gonna lie. Leading up to the fight, I knew that Gamboa was gonna be, you know, tough and he ain't gonna lay down. Is there a fighter that you like to watch? You're, you're a big knockout guy. People love to watch knockouts. Is there some fighter out there that when you know he's fighting, you tune in or get your ticket and sit ringside? Uh, no, I just um. Did Floyd have any words for you uh, on weigh-in day? Uh, there was a lot of challenges going on. It was late. It was, you had to take the second weight. That day, did Floyd have anything to say to you? Nah, uh, I think I missed him on the weigh-in day. I think he was leaving when I was just putting up, so I didn't really see him. You know, so um, we talked. I mean, he was in my corner tonight, and you know, we was on the same page and things like that. He was guiding me through the, uh, the fight and things like that, so. And lastly, uh, with the win tonight, getting another title around your waist, what was the most significant element of tonight? The packed crowd, the title, the way you won? Uh, the way I won, I want to say. Uh, uh, um, great, I mean, you know, not great performance, but, you know, okay performance. Um, you know, uh, packed house. Been in there going 12 rounds with a Spurs fighter, like Gamboa, that everybody wrote off, but I didn't. You know, I knew I was coming there as a, a for a fight. You know, um, he showed that he's a uh, champion. He, he didn't come this far for nothing. You say okay performance. One thing you would have changed tonight if you could go back and change it? Uh, probably touch him, throw more punches, but I, I was, everybody probably thought I was tired, but that's not the case. I was, I was, you know, I was touching him up, and when I was touching him up, I didn't want to gas out, you know, so I would touch him up, and, you know, once you know that you can't knock somebody out, you don't, you know, keep continuing to throw hard shots. So that's what I was doing. And his game plan was to tie me out. They said that they wanted to go to deep water, so I didn't want to get tied, and then I can't come back if he, you know, retaliate, things like that. Congratulations on getting another win, another title around your waist. We'll see you again in 2020. Radio Raheem with Javonta Tank Davis.
Thank you.